Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is my first Instagram Live in a series that we're doing um, called A Conversation on Filmmaking with, and today's conversation on filmmaking is with Chloe Williams, who's our first AD on uh, our film, our feature film, our first feature film, him and her, and she's an incredible human being. Uh, I know everyone says like, oh, someone says one of my favorite, like she's literally one of my favorite people. Um, she radiates joy and positivity and uh, was a delight to have on set and was incredible at her job. And I'm super excited to chat with her because, um, you know, you're going to get to witness a reunion. I haven't talked to her for quite a while with this pandemic and everything we've all been dealing with and I'm super stoked to catch up. So let me invite Chloe in. Let's see how this works. One second. Oh, technical difficulties. Yes. Yes. We're making it happen. It's happening as we speak. Technology land is going. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, how are that you? just threw me off. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. I it's feel so like good I'm to see so you. close to my camera right now. I hate it. Okay, there we go. I'm really shiny right now. I just put oh, yeah. on face oil because I was dry, and now I'm like, I need a <laughs> hair and makeup. Look. I put on uh, mascara, and that was it. I sh well, I showered. I did shower. You so. have one thing on me. I clearly do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, I mean, if I didn't shower, I would have looked very ratchet. I've been doing manual labor all day. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. So exciting. So exciting. <laughs> I'm so stoked to talk to you. I know it's I know, been a hot it's minute. been so long. Uh, it's been crazy. We need a virtual During pandemic. I know we do. I haven't done one in I don't even know how long. <sighs> we we got to do something game, actually. I know. I need to do a flight out to LA and come back out yes. for some time. <laughs> yes. So, no oh. joke, the next film I made you were my first phone call and mm. I really don't want to make a film without you. Well, sorry. Ah, technical difficulties again. We are buffering, but it is all okay. Chloe will be back with us when the internet gods allow. But honestly, I really don't want to make a film without her. She was an incredible, incredible first AD. And on this uh, feature film, there were a lot of firsts. It was my first feature film as a producer. It was the director, Ice Morozik's first feature film as a director. Charlie Cole, who went to AFI with me, um, it was his first feature film as a cinematographer. And it was Chloe's first feature film um, as a first AD. She's been in the business for a while, but in a different capacity as a script supervisor. And then she wanted to make the jump to first AD. And I was like, come on, we've got a lot of firsts. And you don't often get the opportunity to give somebody else a chance to, to be the first to have that jump up. Because usually there's you know a lot of other people's money at stake, which there was in this film too. But since there were a lot of firsts, it was it was an easier thing for us to, to allow, which was really great. And Chloe, ha oh, I think is hopefully coming back. Yes, one second. Ah, technology. But it's all good because it connected us through a very difficult time, which is really all right. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. It's OK. You're just leaving us wanting more. <laughs> you know, I want to be, you know, suspenseful. Yeah, mysterious. Oh, God. Yeah, no. Um, but I mean, I mean, I love making movies with you guys. It's just been so long. It's crazy to think how long it's been since we filmed this movie. Like, a hot minute, a hot minute. It's taken a hot minute. Right. I mean, and you know, post production takes a hot minute. But it's just like crazy how long ago to think that was. Now, just like with everything that has happened since then. It's wild. Yeah. A little, crazy. little little pandemic in between. <laughs> a little pandemic, a little craziness. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. So, I was just telling everybody that this was your first feature as a first AD. Yes, it was. It was um, a very weirdly challenging first feature. Like it seemed everything on paper seemed relatively uh, straightforward and not overly complicated. And then when it came time to execute, it was like, oh, wow, this was actually way more. Like, even when I tell people now, like, about, like, when I'm interviewing for other jobs or even just working on another job as an AD, they're like, wait, you did what? You had to do what with the actors? And you had to keep them? I was like, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that crazy, but it was, like, 
looking back on it, like, wow, that was a wild, wildly hard feat that we accomplished. Yes. So in case yeah. anybody doesn't know what, what we're talking about, do you want to fill them in? Um, I can. Yeah. I mean, we had to shoot our actors. I mean, I don't believe they've, they still don't know who each other are, right? They still haven't met. Yeah. No. Our two main actors have no idea who the other is. Um, they never met on set. Even when they had to be in the same room, they never got to see each other, which was, <laughs> we have some great pictures and great background behind the stuff, stuff that behind the scenes videos that I'm sure will come out at some point. Right. But they never met. And so it became a whole, we had to really schedule when one would show up and when the other could show up and where one would sit and where one could be. It was just a, it was a lot crazy. And when I tell people about that, they're like, I'm sorry, what? So they don't know who each other are. And I'm like, no, they have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it wild. Is, uh, madness. And so we don't have an IMDb. So if you Google either one of us or try to look us up on IMDb, the movie does not have an IMDb specifically yes. for the reason that, you know, we don't want the actors figuring out who the other person is that they were acting opposite, which is mm -hmm. highly stressful and unusual and like added a whole other layer in every aspect to the making of this film. I, yeah. I don't even doubt like for the promotion of this film, it adds like a whole other level of like, I can't look you up on IMDb and you're like, sorry. <laughs> right. Like, is your project real? Cause it's not on IMDb. Like, yes, yeah. it is real. And, and we've just been going through the trailer and like, do we, how do we, yeah. And yeah. The posters. We're designing the poster and like, we need a version without their names. And then yeah. their names, it's, that's yeah that's truly wild i mean i'm excited like when you guys do the full reveal and everything i'm pumped yeah. i like keep my parents i'm like yeah i'm like i'm talking to indy and we're like they're hopefully releasing the film soon and they're like great we can't wait to see it i was like i know it's crazy it's gonna be so fun <laughs> i can't wait to see the like whole release thing i'm just i'm pumped i'm excited uh me too thank you mm -hmm. so you yeah. moved from being a script supervisor into being a first ad Yes, but about? I still do both. Oh, you do both. So, okay. So yeah. you're happy to... to I love doing job. both. I think if I did one or the other solely, it would I'd go crazy. I like oh. I like having a change of pace on set. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So you have the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. What it was like a, a, a rose and a thorn for you on this film? Like a Wait, high what? and low. A high a and a low and on thorn. this film? <laughs> a high and a low. Oh man, that's hard. Cause it was like, every day was hard in its own way, like for different reasons. The first week was like just us trying to figure out our flow as a crew. And I think that was probably one of the hardest things, but it was also super fun. I don't know if I have a high and a low. There's like every day had a high and a low. Cause it was like, I think my high is really what I found, which is unfortunate that it was towards the end of the film. My biggest high was when I like finally, when we were doing all the stuff with coordinating a bunch of different, bunch of people, bunch of things, bunch of background. We had police holding things off for us. When I finally like got my voice of being like, everyone shut up. This is how we're doing this. You're going to listen to me. It's like, it took a minute for me as a first, as a first time, first AD on a feature film. It took a minute for me to like, finally just be like, this is how we're doing it guys. I don't care. There's only one person that can talk to all these people at once. And it's going to be me right now. <laughs> that was like my, my proud, my highest for myself of pr being proud. But like one of my favorite moments was when we were at his location and we all just started, we were packing up the location and we all just started singing and like, we started do playing instruments and stuff. And that was like, I mean, it definitely slowed down wrapping out of the location, but <laughs> it was like totally one of those moments. <laughs> totally worth it. It was like that moment of like everyone just kind of sat down and hung out for like five minutes. And we're like, oh, we're done with this location. Let's play some music. And then back to work. I have that video. But, yeah, I would yeah. love to see it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's coming. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I feel like we should back up for one second. Can you tell everybody mm -hmm. what a first AD does? Does? Um, the first AD is the first assistant director who schedules in pre-production. They schedule the film um, scene by scene um, and create strip boards. Uh, and then eventually they will schedule it day by day uh, with the shots and hour by hours, um, basically to the minute, figuring out 
how much time you have for each scene and each shot on a day. And then on set, it's the execution of those of that scheduling to make sure that everything you have scheduled for that day actually gets shot and gets done. Um, and the goal as a first AD, in my opinion, is to make sure that the director is getting as much time as they need to get the scene done appropriately, while also the DP is getting as much time as they need and the actors are getting as much time as they need. As all the meanwhile, you, know, you have producers being like, how are we doing on the day? <laughs> but no, but that's the general idea of what a first director, first AD does, um, first assistant director, sorry, does. Is they schedule and then on set they execute that schedule. Were you nervous at being like your first feature? You'd done shorts before as a first AD. Um, I had done shorts and I had done, I guess I mostly had only done shorts because I've done like some shows since then. But I think, yeah, I guess I'd only done shorts up until then. I, I don't know that it really was the only, the biggest difference between doing like a short shoot versus a longer shoot, a couple week shoot, is just your stamina. And I think the hardest, like I wasn't necessarily nervous for it. I was excited for it. But I think I, I'm nervous for every shoot because it's like, it's all, at the end of the day, for me, in my head, it's kind of on you to make sure you get everything done that you need to get done. That's a lot of weight on you. Yeah. And that anything that can be cut, you know, that was something in our pre-production that also was my job was to kind of harp on the creatives to be like, this is something that we could live without, but if you need it, we can have it. You just have to be the realistic person when it comes to anything on any set anywhere. But I don't know that I was nervous. It's just like by the end of the first week, I was exhausted. And it was like, oh, okay, this is what it's like to shoot five days in a row and like yeah. five, 12 hour days in a row and have, you know, to work at the end of that day as well, go home and make sure you're ready for the next day. Yeah. So I don't know that I was nervous going into it though. I, th I think I was excited and nervous and terrified, but pumped. It was like a, a melting pot of emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we made all of our shots. I think there was the one mirror shot that we abandoned, mm -hmm. which yeah. is, yeah. yeah. I mean, there was That's definitely, fun. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't even think. I, at this point, I don't even remember all the shots that were in a day, but I know that we got all the scenes that were desired in a day, regardless of the shot list. So, yeah, it's wild. And you had the added uh, stress of dealing with a director and a producer who were like in a relationship. <laughs> I'm sure it was super fun for you. Uh, I've done that since, and it's like it's no it's a it, it honestly no it doesn't. There's no difference between. It's so funny because it's like you say that. Like now I want to know. Please tell me they were worse than us. Like they fought more than we did. But like the direct, like almost, maybe it's just the productions on them on, I don't know, but the, like a lot of productions I work on, it's a director and a producer that have had a relationship for so long that they still fight as if they were a couple. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, it's yeah. not, it, it's like, yeah, you guys are in a relationship, but like, it's no different than a, a normal director, producer combination that's known each other for a long time. Cause they fight just as much cause they know each other just as well. Right? Yeah. So oh, good, yeah. good. Because I was worried we were unprofessional, but I'm, I'm glad to know that it's standard yeah. industry it's a, practice. It's industry practice, at least for the independent film world. It's industry practice. <laughs> okay, good, good, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to share something with you. Look, well, I don't know if you can see. You see that? <gasps> oh yeah! Oh my god, oh, that was god. my Christmas present to you guys, right? Or my wrap yes. gift? I can't remember what it was. This is from Harry. <laughs> This is this, how our, our film That was our NDA, started. right? That's our is that our NDA? Yes. This is our in place of an NDA. <laughs> Chloe made this for us in our first production meeting. So, you know, our our film was so super top secret that this says <laughs> um I won't say expletive that starts with S H mm -hmm. about I sloth. And then we all signed it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's so amazing. I love that I that's love there. This. We treasure this. <sighs> Yeah, I remember when I found that after production and everything, I was like, oh, my God, I got to frame this. I got to give this to these guys. So It's, it's important. It's memorabilia, yeah. It's awesome. It's I one of those things. Oh, man. <sighs> Anything else about the production that stands out for you? 
I know, oh my! The I, well, I'm like, well, one thing that always stands out to me <laughs> is when I was asking Ice to like cut some stuff in the hotel, and he, I don't know how much I could say, so I don't know if I, like, he cut some scenes but added something that took way longer, and I was like, <laughs> I just remember him being like, look, I like cut it down to like just this little bit of script, and I was like, but that little bit of script is a half day, and it turned into a full day, and I was like, oh my god, and he's like, it's gonna be great, oh and it was great. It was amazing at the end of the day when we like, and it looks great. But I just remember when he did that, he was so proud. And I was like, I'm proud of you, but I'm also like, it's still, we still have so much to do with that. Like it's yeah. what didn't change much. You got rid of six scenes, but it was six scenes worth. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it looks great. It was amazing at the end of the day. And I think it told the story better in my opinion, but oh. Yeah, but I just remember that. That's like one of the most thing the things that stood out the most to me because I was like, all our pre production, I kept harping on trying to cut stuff down, and it was just like he was so happy, and I was like, I'm so happy you're happy, and I'm <laughs> proud of you for cutting it down, but it didn't really change anything. Right. But it came out amazing, so and we got oh. it done. So good. Yeah. Cool. But that's like one of the things that stands out the most. I just remember that's like something I still say, like I tell people and I'm like, oh my God, this is like one of my favorite moments whenever I'm talking to other directors about like cutting stuff out. I'm like, don't add like a really big piece of something that you think is really short, but it's not. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah. I like want to talk about this and I don't want to talk about this. But I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. The whole I don't know female filmmaker Friday like I I don't want our sex to be part of the conversation but I guess it, it has to be for a little while longer it's like do mm -hmm. you as a female first AD have there been any difficulty with that or it's like all for not really I feel like I am a, a rare I know a lot of women in the film industry that have experienced issues purely because they're female I don't know if it's because I'm just so stern and I'm just like, I don't, I don't put up with shit. So Chloe doesn't play it, y'all. I don't. So like the second that's an issue, I'll be like, all right, cool. You're not a person I want to deal with anyway. And I'll make sure that no female filmmakers want to work with you either because you're not worth it. Yeah. It's, I haven't experienced a lot of that. I've probably in the past couple of years only experienced it like once or twice, but I do know people that have had issues with it, but I, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if it's just my personality and I'm just like, I'm not dealing with your shit. If I'm great at my job, I know I'm great at my job. All these other people tell me, like, have given you references that I'm great at my job. If you can't trust that, that's on you and I feel sorry for you. Yeah. So, but I haven't, yeah, I feel fortunate that I haven't experienced it much. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, it's just like when are, when are we gonna not be female filmmakers but get to like when is it just filmmakers? like we're filmmakers yeah. yeah like why like it's the same concept of like calling an actress an actress an actor an actor they're all they're all actors right you can still refer to any of them as actors but yeah men don't get referred to as actresses you know what i mean so it's like one can be used for all and the other seems very specific yeah so it's just unfortunate uh, the director would like to know oh i think he's done with this female filmmaker conversation he would like to know <laughs> Uh, think about the actors more. that's great we talk talk more about me not about you but about the <laughs> actors yes what did i think about our actors uh like just in general i mean they were awesome it was just, they were for what they had to accomplish in the days one the fact that they had to accomplish as many scenes as they did in a day is and it's only two of them the only dialogue that happens truly except for like I think a few lines here and there from some, a few people, right. It's just them. And there's, it's a lot of conversation and a lot of, a lot that they had to memorize in a day. So from that standpoint, I think they did phenomenally. I think that like it started off a bit rocky because one of our actors was used to a little bit slower pace of a day. Um, and we didn't have the budget for slow pace. We had a budget for just what we needed to get done. And that is just is what it is that's independent filmmaking yeah. but i think at the end of the day our actors really once they got into their skin and understood how our set worked were just 
they were all in and they fully felt it and they they performed it's hard for me because when i'm ading i don't pay attention to performance as much because i'm more so worried about did you get it did you get it do you feel great (laughs) okay great we're moving on in that but as far as like what i do remember from all of it i i feel like they did very well with the circumstances they were given and especially once they got into their skins they were like it was smooth sailing once we got through like the first three days i feel like our whole crew everyone actors everybody just kind of found a rhythm got a rhythm yeah and, and fell into a place that made sense and then it kind of all reset whenever we changed locations but but it was faster each time to get back into that rhythm and i think the actors especially with everything that happens in the later part of our shoot and later in the movie they did a really good job of yeah you know having to have blankets held up in front of their faces and not and they truly didn't want to know the other person they wanted to stay true to that which was amazing because no, it's like right. Phenomenal. They could have, they could have just said, screw this. I'm just going to, I'm going to peek. I'm going to, I'm going to just sneak a peek. And they didn't. They were awesome. Yeah. So. They were excellent, excellent sports, excellent yeah. team players. It was a really oh, yeah. tough shoot in that way. Yeah. They were great. Anybody else has questions, they can put them in the comments and we'll ask Chloe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a great film. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm happy that I got to see one of the rough cuts, um, but I'm super excited to see like the final product. Cause I mean, I, what that rough cut that I saw was over a year ago, right? It's like, a minute. It's yeah. a minute. there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, if you're going to do it, do it right. And it's not like, there's no reason to rush it out. Like I was just on a film that wanted to rush out a movie for, this upcoming film circuit and i'm like why why waste the money when if you really want and it's a great script it's it had great potential but they just they rushed it and it's unfortunate because it's just like you could make it so much better if you just did proper pre-production and just didn't rush it and it's like we had so much pre-production that even though our days were rushed it was like we had fail safes on like those days and like certain things that we could fall back on and when you don't do that it's just it's a it's a shame because it's like there's a lot of people that want to make a movie and make it good and if you don't give it the proper time it needs it just you don't have a chance to make it good so well the pre-production speaks a lot to you and charlie and ice Mm. figuring that out and hammering that out that was yeah moment whenever we got to meet and I love that. One of the meetings where we had at my place. Um, and I just remember we were just sitting there talking about each scene and like how we want to shoot it and like what the film language was going to be. And I just, that was such a fun day. Cause it was just like, it was the only time that we ever met at my place and I didn't have to go somewhere, which is also why I loved it. <laughs> Sorry, <Chloe. laughs> no, it doesn't. It, every production you have to go somewhere, but it was just like that one time where I was like, Oh, this is so fun. Like we get to come to my place. And then we went and got sandwiches at my favorite sandwich spot. Aww. That was such a fun pre-production day. I had a good time on that day. That was a good time. I love it. That makes <laughs> yeah. me happy. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if nobody has any questions, I think we touched base on a lot of things. I know. And I don't want to... I'm like... I was like a little nervous for this interview because I was like, I don't want to accidentally spill beans on something and be like, oh... But I feel like I've been good, right? I haven't said You're really good. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> I was excellent. like, have I said anything? I don't know. No. No. You've been okay. excellent. All the I feel like you're still intact. <laughs> your face would instantly say it if I somehow good. just like spilled a seat. Yeah. I feel like I'm like interviewing. You know, like the Marvel people, like whenever they interview, they have to like keep hush hush about any future movies. That's what I was a little worried about on this, except for on another level, because there's like, yeah, real hush hush on yeah. this. There's a lot going on. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you well, yeah. did awesome on keeping secrets. I appreciate it. Mm-mm. I made that paper, piece of paper behind you for a reason. Yes. I don't even, my parents don't even know how, 95% of everything that's happened on that film. 5% is like things that the, are the 5% we could say on this interview. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. I want it. for being such a champion. Like you I think it's rare and it's hard for a first AD to strike the balance that you do. And it's your gift that you can be tough and you can be task oriented and you can keep everybody on a, like a strict schedule, but you do it in such a way that it's like, 
fun and kind and cool and like you know you can tell somebody to stop doing something or we're moving on or whatever but like in a way that they're like okay cool i'm ready like yeah it's great it's really yeah. important and rare thank you. So thank you thank you thank you of course thank you i learned a lot <laughs> on that one. oh hey there <laughs> Bell someone rang the bell off so it is nice <laughs> Oh, meanwhile, my dog's like kindly asleep right over there. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Bella. Bella. Hold on. Do you miss Bella. me, Bella? Bella is the only dog I ever met that didn't absolutely love me. Yeah, she got, she got to a Bella's point. Like, well, uh, baby Bella. Say goodbye, Bella. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Chloe. Bye. So Love you. you so much. It was Thank so good you. to Love see you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to hang up. You got to do it. <laughs> <laughs>